Hola! Welcome to my channel. My name is Risa and this is Divine Portal. So today's video I'm going to be pulling messages for my Aquarians. This could resonate if you have Aquarius in any of your placements. Please only take the messages that resonate with you and leave the rest for someone else. Also, if you feel like you need to flip the roles or switch them, you are welcome to do that. So let's get right into it. I hope you all are doing well. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Let's see. <clears throat> Angels, ancestors, spirit guides, forces from the other side, God, goddess, divine mother, divine father, please help me pass along the most important most loving, helpful, positive, accurate messages for my Aquarians. And I also ask that you please block any outside energy, any negative energy, anyone trying to disrupt the reading or manipulate the messages, anyone trying to harm me or any of my subscribers. I ask that you please send it back to where it belongs because it's not welcome here and it's not welcome in this space. Thank you. Okay, so let's see. What are the vibes for my Aquarians right now? What do they need to know? What do they need to be aware of? We have his friends want to fuck you too. And we have self-sabotage. So, okay, there could be some self-sabotage going on either on your part or their part. I also see if you're talking to someone, interested in someone, their friends could be interested in you as well. Like if he tells his friends, he or she, if they tell their friends about you, I feel like the friends are interested in you as well. But let's see. Aquarius. What do we have for Aquarius spirit? my beautiful Aquarians. Oh, okay, what else? Let's see what we got so far. Some of them, this one fell on my thighs, so let's see. I'm not trying to get flagged anymore, so I'm going to have to censor myself, okay? Um, let's get them all together. So my channel got um, a violation on it. They removed my last video. Um, and if I get three strikes, you guys, they will remove my channel. So that's why I'm not going to be posting those type of videos on my channel anymore the intimate for adults video anymore um i made a patreon but i'm still debating if i'm still debating but i'll let you guys know but yeah if i get any more strikes they will i can't post anymore and then the third strike i will be removed okay so thank you guys for understanding we have isolation money issues sorry about the background noise those are my my water it's my water heater it makes noise every time someone takes a shower or if i wash clothes okay this one says i want to finish inside of you so bad okay so i would show it but i don't know what they're gonna do so we'll put that over there you know what that means okay bitter lame Bitches linking up to hate on you. Twisted dark fantasies. I have a lover at the moment, but I want you. Lesson learned. Using magic to take away your beauty. Let's see what else, Spirit. Oh, 
what else? For Aquarius. Okay. We have some on this side and right here. This one says, I'm unhappy where I'm at. I hate it here. And that one fell on these two. I have a lover at the moment and listen, learn. You mean the world to me. I just don't show it. I'm supposed to say I just don't show it, but I didn't put it. <laughs> Sent by Divine. I love being in your arms. Your hugs and kisses make me weak. And we have caught up. Let's get some more. What else for Aquarius? Okay, on the bottom we have original. So you're very different, you're very original. You're not like anyone else that this person has ever experienced. You could be very unique. It's like your hobbies, your interests, you just stand out. There's no one like you, period, okay? We have you are so magical and beautiful. I love you. Disgusted and leveling up okay Aquarius so let's see what's going on around you right now so you guys could be isolating yourself maybe you're not maybe you're not being very social right now or you could just be focused on work you go to work you go home or you know that type of thing you're not really out there You could be really focused on your money, your stability, especially if you've been having issues with your finances. I see you being very focused. Or this person that you're connecting with could be having money issues. I'm definitely getting a third party energy here. There's someone here that's with someone, but they want you. They're very unhappy wherever they're at. I just heard they could be getting like fucked over in their situation. Whatever that means. But I feel like this person, this could be different people because I'm also getting different energies or this could be the same person However, it resonates with you. This person has a lot of fantasies about you. They, you know, they, <laughs> when they're alone, they definitely think about you a lot, okay? This person might want to have a baby with you or it's like if it happens, it happens. But I feel like you learned your lesson. So if you are intimate with this person, maybe wear protection or have them wear protection or however that goes i see this person not caring it's like if it happens it happens they really want to i feel like spirit is just kind of warning you with lesson learned right under that you might need to be careful because some of you could get pregnant okay i'm just gonna put it out there or you're already pregnant for some of you. <laughs> I just saw someone rubbing their belly. <laughs> That's why I left. <laughs> so some of you could already be pregnant. If not, Spirit is just warning you because I see this person really wanting to be with you, really wanting to be intimate with you as well. This person feels like you're very magical, like you're uh, this goddess or this god energy sent by divine they could feel like you're sent to them like you're heaven sent or maybe you might feel this way about them they find you to be very beautiful very handsome very magical this person is like caught up in this situation where they feel stuck or they don't really want to be there anymore and they're kind of using you as an escape like fantasizing about you um fantasizing about what it would be like to 
to be with you, to have children with you, or to settle down with you. You really mean a lot to this person. And I'm also getting, there's outside energies. It could be the third party, it could be friends, like the third party and their friends or whoever. I feel like there's a gang of lame bitches that hate on you. They, It's like all they really talk about is you. I feel like this person, they could be using magic or spell work or they could just be like sending you the evil eye, hoping that you get ugly, or it's like something about your beauty like pisses them off, or your handsomeness, right, if you're masculine. Something about you, the fact that you're original, you're different, you're beautiful, you're handsome, their person is attracted to you, it's, it like pisses them off, like they wanna do something to you. But I feel like this person, it's like they're mad about their person being in love with you or they could be doing spell work to make this person not want you, but it's not working. I feel like if anything, this person is disgusted with like the person that they're currently with, the third party. They don't want to be there. They, It's like if they live together, like going home to that person every night, it's just like, ugh, you know? They want to be with you. They want to be in your arms. They want to be up under you. And I see you leveling up also. Hmm. Let's get some more. Let's see. What is the disgusted energy like? That's what I want to know. It's like you could have these people all mad and jealous and haters, right? But I feel like you're isolating yourself right now you're not even out there like it's like you're keeping to yourself basically and they're still hating what can you tell me spirit yeah look at that hidden enemies and this fell on my lap hold on making wiser choices so maybe you're trying to make better choices or this person is trying to make better choices hidden enemies lost without you so yeah you definitely have people that are haters <sighs> it's like i don't know it just doesn't really matter like i don't i honestly feel like you don't give a fuck if this person doesn't like you or not but i feel like a big reason why they're mad is because either their man or their girl wants you or because they find you to be beautiful and maybe they feel like they lack something or you could be successful or whatever the fuck. It's like they're just, I don't know. They're coming up with shit to hate you. Coming up with reasons to hate you. Feeling worthless. Old friends. Lost in love. So this could be old friends of yours that are watching you that are feeling less than or feeling worthless because they don't look like you or they're not on your level or they don't have a relationship i don't know i don't know why people hate on other people if i don't like someone i'm not gonna sit around and think about them all day i'm not gonna like stalk them you know what i mean it's like if i don't like you then i'm just gonna pretend like you don't fucking exist right but it's like you take up this person's whole fucking day thinking about you stalking you they have your page like saved. You know how on Instagram when you type in something, even if you type in a letter, like the person will come up. It's like, you're like the first one. You're saved there, you know? And someone's, we have lost without you and lost in love. This person feeling lost, they love you. They, If this is someone that you're not talking to or you're not with anymore, they feel lost without you. We have baby daddy on the bottom so if you have kids this could be like the father of your kids or someone that you have kids with they could be feeling lost without you they could have like a new girlfriend or a new boyfriend or whatever and the new the new partner doesn't like you or feels threatened by you 
What else do you need? Stop wasting my time and hopeful. Okay. And on the bottom, money magnet. Oh, okay. So if you've been struggling financially or maybe things haven't been as smooth as you would as smooth as you as you would like them to be. I don't know why I can't speak. As smooth as you would like them to be. I see it picking up for you. If money has been slow, I see you attracting more. Just, just stay persistent. Let's see what else. Ooh, beautiful. Millionaire in the making. Like I said, just stay persistent. Don't give up. I know sometimes it's like, when shit doesn't go your way or when you're feeling broke, it's like you lose all hope. But spirit is telling you to keep going. You know, if that doesn't work, try something else. If that doesn't work, try something else. You know what I mean? Start your own business. If that one fails, start another business. You know what I mean? It's like, I feel like something's going to take off for you financially wise, okay? So yeah, you could be feeling like, stop wasting my time, let me just focus on my money. These relationships, these boys, these girls, it's just distracting me right now. Um, so yeah, especially with make, making wiser choices, it's like you really don't want to choose the wrong thing. You don't want to give your time and energy to the wrong person. Okay, I feel like that's it. On the bottom, we have grateful. So yeah, I see you being very grateful in a very positive energy. Okay, let's get some of these. Can you tell me about whoever this person is coming towards Aquarius in love? What can they expect or what's going on with their love life? He is in his feelings over you. <laughs> I'm hearing, whenever I see that one, I think of the Ruby Rose song. In his feelings, I think that's what it's called. It's it gives me a vibe like the masculine is in his feelings and the feminine energy could like care less or she's not really she doesn't really care that he's in his feelings. So that's my that's how he might feel. I hate when he makes me block you. Open relationship. Let's meet up. She or he isn't making it easy for me to leave them. What else, spirit? We have MILF. Not ready to man up. What can you tell me about love for Aquarius? I'm in a really dark space right now. Please come back home, baby. I think about you all day, every day. Help me. Let me get some water. Hold on, guys. My throat is really dry. Okay. What else, spirit? Spreading lies and rumors. Let me shuffle again. On the bottom it says, let's build an empire. What else? 
Is there anyone else coming towards Aquarius? Anyone new? Being with you brings me so much joy. In a few years, crazy ex won't let go or move on or move the fuck on. Outsiders are very jealous of our relationship. I pretend that she's you when we, you know what? I don't like it when you put pressure on me. On the bottom, a third party is trying to compete with you. <sighs> okay. So there's someone that's in their feelings over you. There could be like a third party or outside people. I feel like the other person might make them block you. Like you better not talk to Aquarius or you better, you know, I don't know. This person is very annoying. I see this person wanting to leave whoever they're with, but that person isn't making it easy for them. They could be in an open relationship but it's like this whoever they're with doesn't want them to be with you so even if they're in an open relationship they don't want them to be with you they could be with anyone else except Aquarius that's how they feel okay um, I feel like this person is going through it whoever I'm picking up on here they're really going through it um, they could be in a really dark space they're really trying to figure out their life um, their ex could be, okay, either this is someone that they're in a relationship with, or this could just be an ex that just won't let go of them. They don't know how to move on. This ex doesn't want them to be happy with anyone else. Or this could be one of your exes that doesn't want you to move on. So you could have exes from both sides. I feel like this person thinks about you a lot. It's like, like I said earlier, they use you as this escape from their reality right now because I feel like they're very unhappy. They're, they feel like they're stuck. And it's like, you know, daydreaming about you and what you guys could be or what you guys could have is kind of like makes them happy. I feel like right now maybe this person isn't ready to man up. On the bottom of that it says in a few years. So for some of you, if you're willing to wait a few years for this person, maybe he might be ready. But for others of you, I feel like you could be connected to someone else already, a newer person, or you might meet someone new. I feel like this new person is really going to enjoy being with you. You make them happy. Yeah, because this this other person here, it's like they're not ready to man up. They could still be stuck in something. They're not ready to leave that. Or every time they every time they try to leave, that person, you know, pulls them back somehow. With help me here. It's like that that situation could be almost abusive. I feel like that person could get very violent and abusive and won't let this person leave. There could be lies and rumors. It's I'm also getting like blackmail. So this person might have something on them or might threaten to like tell people something or make up lies. I feel like whoever they're with pressures them, puts a lot of pressure on them. Or maybe you might pressure this person like, okay, so what is, like, what are we? What are, what are we doing here? And they don't like that pressure because it's like they're already in something that's super toxic. They're trying to get out of that. 
So that might be one of the reasons why this person is just not ready to man up. Or it could be the other person putting pressure on them. I feel like they want to meet up. They want to see you. They want to meet you. They want to hang out with you. Whenever this person is intimate with whoever they're with, they... Uh, so my camera ran out of space. So yeah, I was saying that whenever this person is intimate with whoever they're with, they think about you. They pretend that that they're being intimate with you instead of who they're with. So yeah, okay. I'm gonna pull some more, let's see what else. Is there anything for new love here, spirits? Any new love for my Aquarians? Is there anything new? I feel like I can be myself with you. I know he or she isn't good for me. Still on dating apps. I need one of your hugs. What can you tell me about new love? Being sneaky behind your back. Please just give me a chance to make it up to you. Don't walk away yet, I'm begging. I hate that I treated you like that. You belong with me, not them. Fake friend. Please try to see things from my perspective. Okay, so I'm getting more third party energy. There's someone, it's like this person knows whoever they're with is not good for them. I feel like you're getting tired of being a part of this, you know? I feel like whenever you walk away or pull back, they beg you not to leave them, but it's like they're being sneaky. They could still be on dating apps, or it's like, I don't know, I feel like you just can't really fully trust them. They feel comfortable with you, they feel like like they can talk to you about anything they could be themselves with you you could have it's like you could have given this person your time and your energy and then you find out that there's either they're with someone or they're still on dating apps still trying to see what else is out there and it's just annoying like and then they want you to try to see things from their perspective like I don't know. And then you have a fake friend around you too. So I don't know who that is, but just be aware of that. What else? Unhappily married, ready to leave and never look back. Ugh, I'm getting tired of this. Relocating, moving, traveling. I'm not fighting my feelings anymore. I love you. Every time I see you, you look more and more attractive. I love you, I don't care who knows it. I want to worship your body. I want to trap you with a baby. What did I tell you guys? You guys gotta be careful to my ladies out there. Even my, my masculines, be careful. Because it's like this person is stuck with someone, right? They're unhappy. They met you, started talking to you. They fell in love with you. They were fighting it at first. They wanted to keep being a player. And then it's like, finally, they're like, fuck, I'm in love with Aquarius. I don't care who knows. They want to be intimate with you. They want to see you. If it's like long distance, they want to travel to see you. But I feel like they might try to trap you with the child so that they still have access to you. Because I feel like you're getting tired of this. You're getting annoyed. You don't want to be a part of this. It's like, this person basically wants to have you and whoever they're with 
even though they're not fucking happy there, you know? So maybe they have a home, they live together, they have kids, you know, something that's kind of keeping them with that person. They could still be married to that person. Yeah. Let me get some confessions. And then I'll pull some charms for you guys. Please make sure to like the video, leave me a comment, subscribe if you're new to my channel. So for the Patreon, if I do, if I do decide to to go with the Patreon, I'm going to try to do at least three of my 18 plus readings on there a week. So that'll be like 12 readings a month and, um, and it'll be $8. So if you're interested, let me know down below, okay? I'm not really sorry I'll do it again because I haven't changed with Some of you said to make another channel, but it's like, I feel like it's someone reporting my videos. So even if I post that I have another channel, I feel like they'll just go over there because I, I, I noticed that my readings didn't start to get removed and flagged until I started talking about the DL man. Remember I told you guys how he kept coming out in every reading and people were getting mad. Well, just a couple of them, but I feel like it was those couple of people that are flagging my videos or reporting my videos so I feel like if I were to start another channel separately for that those type of readings I feel like they would just follow me over there so if you would like to join the patreon let me know if not it's fine I completely understand but yeah it's because I really enjoy those I really enjoy doing those and I know you guys do too so it's like I want to still be able to do those somehow Give them back to the streets. They're a lost cause and will only drag you down. Damn, spirit is like, uh, yeah, this person hasn't changed and they're not really sorry. It's like, they're, they're still gonna do whatever they're doing, okay? Basically, they're for the streets. What else, spirit, for Aquarius? They don't like you, but won't say shit to your face. So yeah, it's like these these haters, these bitches, what, whoever the fuck they are. They don't like you. They talk a whole bunch of shit about you to their friends, to everyone else that will listen. But when it comes to you, they're not going to say that shit to your face, of course. You know, you know how that goes. I purposely try to make you jealous with other people to see if you still care. What else? I'm getting like there's a feminine energy that she thinks that she has one up on you because whoever you were talking to or fucking with they're like all up on that person but I feel like they're only all up on that person to make you jealous like out of spite you know and she feels like she's everything all that in a bag of chips but he's really doing it because he's thinking about you the third party wasn't worth losing you and everything we had. And if he did that, or she, they lost you. And they realized that it wasn't even worth it. That person wasn't even worth it. I promise you that I really have changed. I want a second chance with you. I'm waiting for you to reach out first. He doesn't treat me the way he treats you. He puts you on a pedestal. Yeah, this third party knows that this person is in love with you. I've cried so many tears for you. I miss you so much. Let's see what else. I get so mad every time I think about what... I get so sad every time we think about what we used to have. So they might get sad and then mad and... Yeah. And I need some more time to work on myself so, I, so that I can be a better lover for you. And I'm depressed and sick without you. So again, this person is not happy without you. Kind of feel like they made their bed now they gotta lie in it you know 
they use that other person either to try and get over you or to make you jealous or whatever the reason and now they're regretting it they want another chance with you they're waiting for you to reach out they've this person gets really sad and depressed and they could even cry about you what about a new person is there anyone new I'm not really your friend. I wish badly on you because I'm jealous. Okay. I use our kids to manipulate him or her to stay with me. Going through a very messy divorce. So there could be someone that is still married. They have kids with someone. It's like a really messy situation. That person manipulates them. So I feel like even the new person is trying to get out of something. Like, why do they always try to use Aquarius as the third party? Like, what makes them think that we want to be the side piece? You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck? I'm miserable in my relationship. I pretend to be happy, but I would rather be with you. Exactly. I compete with you in secret. I hate that you're so beautiful, powerful, and successful. I want to be with you in every lifetime. So this person still wants to be with you. I I admire and stalk you in secret. I'm waiting for the right time to reach out. So this person's still stalking you. The third party's competing with you. They're miserable. So yeah, let's get some charms for you. What signs are coming towards my Aquarius? What signs are coming towards my Aquarius? Hold up. A whole bunch fell out. Let me get them. Let me see which ones fell. Okay. So... These are the ones that fell. We have Pisces, Pisces, Aries, Taurus, Gemini. Okay, let's get some more. Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, Aquarius. Taurus, Taurus, Libra, Virgo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Cancer. Who else is coming towards my Aquarius? Let's put him in this hand. Leo, Libra, Aries. Pisces, Leo, Gemini, Taurus, Aquarius, and Cancer. Of course, it can be any sign. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support and the sweet messages and the sweet comments. I appreciate you guys. I love you. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I am still offering personal readings. That information will be in the comments down below. Enjoy the rest of your day. Love you. Bye.